Data Control Systems 1996 Private Limited, Econet Life Private Limited, Econet Media Zimbabwe Private Limited, Transaction Payment Solutions Private Limited, Econet Wireless Capital Holdings, Steward Health, Pentamed Investments Private Limited, Kumi Zimbabwe Limited. Did you know about that company? Hmm. The 10 companies that Econet Wireless Zimbabwe Limited owns that you did not know about. What's up, guys? It's been a long time. I just finished reading this very, very interesting, uh, very, very long document, 206 pages. Is the annual report of Econet Wireless Zimbabwe Limited. Uh, the company that's one of the most profitable companies is considered a blue chip on the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange. A very interesting company. And before I start this video, I might just need to also say that I'm a shareholder of Econet Wireless Zimbabwe. I think the company has been innovating very well. It's been doing great. And I just felt like um, after reading this and figuring out some very interesting information, I could make a video on it and I uh, kind of share with you the 10 companies that Econet Wireless Zimbabwe Limited actually owns in Zimbabwe that you might not have known about uh, unless you have read, of course, this uh, very, very interesting uh, report that they uh, brought out. So this is the integrated report for 2018. Uh, just if you were to read an earlier report, you might see that there are some companies that I'm not going to mention. Uh, those companies were already separated. They are already listed under a different entity called Cassava Zimbabwe Limited uh, on the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange. Those interested in the Econet story and seeing how it's evolving, you can as well uh, go and check out that company. Uh, it's a very interesting company on its own as well. But this video is just going to be focusing on the businesses that I left is still as part of Econet Wireless Zimbabwe Limited. So let's get right into it. Very interesting. The first company is Kumi Zimbabwe Limited. Did you know about that company? It's a very, very interesting company. It's a company that does connectivities. All these things that we see in the movies, the Internet of Things and connectivity, the company is working very, very well on that. For now, most of the marketing that they have done in the country is connecting cars. They're bringing in Econet connected car where, you know, if you're a business person who has multiple trucks or multiple buses, you can have trackers within them and, you know, people can tell you where your drivers are, where they have stopped, what they're doing. This can be very helpful in car theft. I'm sure you have heard of something like Econet connected car. Second company that you might not have known about is a company that's actually called Data Control Systems 1996 Private Limited. 1996, that's a very interesting part of that in the name there. I was born in 1996 and these guys were already starting companies. It's a very interesting company, data control system. So what does it do? Well, it's very simple. You might actually know it by its trade name, which is Liquid Telecom Zimbabwe Limited. Uh, that's how it trades. The company is uh, involved mainly in laying out fiber optics in the country. It gives out solutions. It connects with other another entity that's now uh, part of uh, cassava which is called zor zimbabwe so very interesting companies as well data control systems 1996. the third company that you might not know about is econet life private limited econet life sounds like something else but well it's actually a company within econet wireless zimbabwe limited it's a very interesting company it's providing insurance services underwriting insurance for the company that we popularly know as EcoSure, that's selling funeral assurance for very, very low sums that you might just be paying over your on, on your phone. And when you die or when your relative dies, you actually get a payout to be able to help you assist in your funeral arrangements and everything. It's a very interesting company, Econet Life Private Limited. The fourth company that you might not know about is Econet Media Zimbabwe Private Limited. This is another interesting company that's still part of the whole branch of Econet Wireless Zimbabwe Limited. It's a very interesting company as well. It's doing satellite and payment TV uh, solutions and internet TV solutions. I know you might have had, you know, Quese trying to come into the country. It's rebranding. I'm sure more solutions are going to be given. So our country is a very interesting country with just one television station, ZTV, at this moment. And we definitely do need more people to break into the media 
space into the TV space and Econet Media Zimbabwe Private Limited is actually make, making some magic work behind the background and I don't doubt these guys. These guys are innovators and I'm sure something, something, something is on the cusp of the horizon to break and very soon we'll see very interesting new TV programs coming in with this uh, company and its partners. Another interesting company that you might not know about is Transaction Payment Solutions Private Limited. Transaction Payment Solutions is very interesting, kind of self-explanatory. These guys actually do provide point-of-sale solutions. They do help and run the backgrounds of the point-of-sale systems that are used in Zimbabwe. They do have partnerships with uh, some of the point-of-sale uh, merchants and everything, and they provide you know, the backlinks and the back channels to make sure that that actually works. And this is still Econet Wireless Zimbabwe Limited we are talking about all these companies. Another interesting company that you may not know about is Econet Wireless Capital Holdings Limited. Econet Wireless Capital Holdings. Econet is actually always on the lookout for new ideas, always in the lookout for new concepts in trying to determine how to allocate the capital they have most profitably as any private business would want to do. And Econet Wireless is sort of the capital arm that holds the business together and that tries to disperse capital in the most efficient way so that the company continues to innovate so that the most innovative and the most promising projects within the company they are well funded and that the company continues to be the leading innovator within the country of Zimbabwe. And the interesting company that you might not know about, Steward Health, still part of Econet Wireless Zimbabwe Limited. Steward Health is a very interesting company as well. What does Steward Health do? Well, it works with uh, clients in the health sector. It does provide medical insurance. It does compete with various players who are already there in the medical field that we might not know, we might know about, such as CMAS or the government uh, controlled premier services, uh, Medical Aid Society. And so Stuart Health is a private player in this industry, trying to provide very innovative solutions and always trying to make sure that they prices they are providing, they are competitive enough, they are very, very cheap. Another interesting company, Pentamed Investments Private Limited. It's a very interesting company, figured it out in the annual report. What does Pentamed Investments do? Well, it was simply a company that was created by Econet Wireless Zimbabwe Limited to be able to buy a 60% stake in the Mutare-based Mutare Bottling Company. What does Mutare Bottling Company do? Mutare Bottling Company actually owns the rights to distribute Coca-Cola products in the eastern region of Zimbabwe. So that's Manikaland and going up. And as you know, Coca-Cola bottling and distributing is a very, very lucrative business because Coke, as we know, is a very, very addictive product which people all of a sudden just consume in the world without even checking out the color, which is black, gross, but well, People like Coke and people will continue consuming Coke. And with Delta kind of having problems with the Coca-Cola company, it seems like if ever Delta is to lose its rights to distribute Coca-Cola products in Zimbabwe, in the other part of Zimbabwe, which is not the eastern region, then it means Econet Wireless, through Zimbabwe Limited, through this pandemic investments and through Mutale Bottling Company, will probably be best positioned to apply for all those rights and be able to capture the whole market of Zimbabwe and to start supplying Coca-Cola products in the whole of the country. It's a very, very interesting part of the business. You may not know about this. Very, very interesting. The second from last company that you may not know about is Stuart Bank Limited. Wow, you might know about it. Stuart Bank, what does it do? Why did Econet have to buy a bank? Well, it turns out that at some point when EcoCash was growing, Stuart Bank was founded so that Econet Wireless Zimbabwe Limited could hold the license, the banking license they would need for them to be able to support their mobile money operations. They would need a banking license. They would need to either partner with a bank or to buy a bank. And Stuart Bank is now one of the leading banks being crowned Bank of the Year by Megafest and by the Zimbabwe Investment Authority. It's a very interesting bank, one of the most profitable players in the market. You should check it out or you already use its products, to which it's doing great. The last company that you might not know about, or rather the, the company that you might have had a misconception about is the last company, which is Econet Wireless Zimbabwe Private Limited. Technot. 
Econet Wireless Zimbabwe Private Limited is actually different from Econet Wireless Zimbabwe Limited. Econet Wireless Zimbabwe Private Limited is the company that most people think is Econet Wireless Zimbabwe Limited. This is the company that 8 in 10 Zimbabweans use. It provides voice, it provides SMS, and it provides broadband solutions. This is the company where most people would if asked what is Econet, they would say it's Econet. That's the company. And they wouldn't mention any of these nine other companies that I mentioned in this video. And so Econet Wireless Zimbabwe, very profitable company as well, used, as I say, by eight in ten Zimbabweans. Very interesting company, very profitable part of their TMT structure, their technology, telecommunications, and media. TMT, telecommunications, media and technology, which is the anchoring that they have done in their, their business. So this is a very interesting one. So if you guys are very interested, you can as well grab this 206 page document and be able to read on your own. Very interesting, very fascinating. I love reading these documents. And as I said, well, I'm a shareholder. And so I love going through all these stories and seeing what's actually happening. Oh, by the way, when I say I'm a shareholder, I don't mean to say I have millions. You can buy shares on the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange with just a couple of hundred dollars. Well, with enough savings because these things actually grow over time, which is which can be good for you. As I said when I bought, Econet Wireless was still one company. It was still Econet Wireless Zimbabwe Limited, but they unbundled it. Now there's a different company called Cassava Zimbabwe Limited. It's actually now listed on its own. So as cassava is growing on its own, my money is now growing in both cassava and in Econet. And as I listed these 10 companies, what I can predict for you is that over time, they are probably going to unbundle these companies again. They are probably going to list Stuart Bank on its own. They are going, probably going to list Liquid on its own. They are probably going to list Pentamed Investments and Mutare Bottling or rather Mutare Bottling Company is going to be listed on its own because Delta is listed on its own as a beverage player. Aftis is listed on its own as, an, as, as a beverage player. So there will be no need of keeping Mutare Bottling Company under the umbrella of Econet Wireless Zimbabwe Limited. So if you are very interested in this topic, let me hear what you think in the comments below and let's have a discussion and tell me if you think I left out any company that I did not notice while reading this annual report. But otherwise, until next time, see you. This is Maro.